ones. So I am so excited. I finally got my Mind the Scrap kit yesterday, which was Christmas Eve, December 24th, blah, blah, blah. However you want to put that. And it was shipped on November 30th. So the lovely United States kept this package of goodies hostage in Chicago for weeks. So I thought I would share it with you. Now I get all of the kits. I get all five kits from Mind the Scrap. And this is a very Christmassy based kit. It comes in this really nice sturdy um, pizza box. So I get all the kits and all that kind of stuff. And so I did a bunch of my um, like Christmas scrapbooking early because I did 12 days of Christmas scrap lifts. And I thought I'd be burnt out, but now I'm all excited to scrapbook Christmas again. So that's actually working out really nicely. Okay, let's see. So let me show you the deal. This first one right here, and they, oh, and by the way, Mind the Scrap comes in these big giant baggies that I use again and again and again when I make my own little kits. Let me see. Oh, I didn't even turn on my light. I was so excited. I just kind of went for it. Let's see. There we go. Um, so this is the main kit and then the paper kit. And I'd like to open both of them for you at the same time because then I can show you fronts and backs really easily. So let's get the papers out and then I'll show you my embellishments. And I think I'm going to unpack it along the way with you. So hold on one second because I'm going to get a new Ikea kit okay. right in there because I am such a visual scrapbooker that I need to see what I'm working with. Like if I have it in one of those regular iris containers laying flat, I still have to take like all the paper out so I can see what's what. So it's easier for me to have it standing up and I will use it. All right, so let's start with the first paper. This is a Heidi Swap Winter Wonderland and it's called Christmas Cheer. And now this isn't a bright white. It really has a grayish tone to it, which I love because I love gray in scrapbooking. And the black dots aren't even like super solid black dots. They actually look like black denim. So that's my first one. Let's put that way over yonder. And then the back side to that, oh, this is cool. This is just a really nice distressed, not quite brick red, but it's not like a bright crayon red either. So the cool thing about this piece of paper is it does not have to be Christmas to use it. And I love papers like that. So like when I'm done with this, I'll be able to put this into my scrap bin if I don't use it all and go from there. Okay, so let's see what's next. I've got this hilarious set or piece of paper by Pebbles Merry Little Christmas. And it's called Dancing Reindeer. So there's all these reindeer rocking it out. Very nice. Clearly a very Christmas piece of paper unless I see some deer in my backyard. Now this one is very interesting. Oh, look at how cute the branding strip is. There's little snowman heads. That's really cute if we ever get uh, another snowfall. So this is, of course, a really nice gingham, but it's more of an evergreen kind of a color, not that bright, bright green. Next, I have Crate Paper Snowflake. I didn't even know they came out with a Christmas line. Is this from this year? Is it from this year? Yes, it is. Okay, so it's gorgeous. We have a gray background with a lot of that mustard yellow color. Uh, that's a gorgeous blush pink in there. That is, this looks great together as well. And then the back side of that is this really great mustard, imperfect kind of black plaid, whatever design. So same thing, all three of these I can use at other times. I am liking how they did that. Okay, so then let's see. I'm gonna do the specialty paper last, maybe. Oh, there's two specialty papers. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so next I have this. It's from Crate Paper Snowflakes. It's called Bundled. Clearly a cut apart. Now a lot of this you can use, like the snowmen, winter, stay cozy, winter is here, fun in the snow, bundled up with you. So that can be non-Christmas. I could even use this really nice border, or not border, but this cutout right here for non-Christmas. Because I'm going to try to use Christmas stuff first and then go out from there. The back side of this, oh, that is a gorgeous, oh, look, it's like the color of my shirt that I'm wearing. Um, 
that is gorgeous. So this is like a more saturated blush color. That is nice. So crate, crate, crate. Yeah, the crate has that same color, but the pebbles also has that color this year. Well done, you. Okay, so I have two pieces of this absolutely gorgeous um, tone on tone vellum, and it's it's white swirl. So I think it's supposed to look like snowflakes. I'm not sure. It's called American Crafts, the color of memories. Let's see, does it have a name of the paper? Bah, 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 bah. I don't know, it just has a code, 354-868. But for me, that is a use at any time because it's just gorgeous white vellum. So next for the specialty paper, it says Heidi Swap Embossed Cardstock. And it's white on white, you know, it's just embossed, but it's not Christmas words. Can you see any of these words? It's really hard to see. It says, trying new things, love you forever, dreaming with my eyes wide open wind in my hair. So I have two pieces of this. Oh, let's adventure. So I can cut those out. I can bring them up. Oh, excited. Okay. And then, oh, I got to get some of my things out of the way that are still, I have to show you for kids. Then every month we get black and white cardstock. And let's see. Let me show you. I have one or two pieces of just black, you know, medium cardstock weight. Not a big deal, but so usable. And then I have two pieces of really nice heavyweight cardstock. So that's great for mixed media. And then finally, we have the bomb. This is called Wax, Lip, Wax Lips Ombre. It is super, super dark red going into a really bright cherry red. That is cool. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that justice. So that is my paper. Now, let me show you my, oh, 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 okay. These are fabulous. They are thickers called Comfort. They're foam and cardstock phrase stickers. So they're black and they have this really nice, festive, snowy kind of white print on it, but they're black on black foam and they're really nice and squishy. A decent number of E's. I always need E's and R's. My R's disappear. And then, you know, chances are I'll just be using 2019 out of those. But that is my first alpha. Then I have the Crate Paper Snowflake Puffy stickers. And I can use all the puffies all the time forevermore. So these are great. I really want to make sure to get good traction using them, though. Those are great. There's a nice little bit of navy in there too, which I like. Look at the little squirrel. She's cute. Okay, so I have those. Then I have the Heidi Swap Ephemera set for her collection. Uh, oh, that is cute. What is hers called again? Heidi Swap Winter Wonderland. So this is like, let's see, 74 pieces. I like these little photo corners, but most of this is very, very Christmassy. So you know how I do it. I target like the super, um, fa -la, la 25, you know, the super specific goodies. I'm going to put it on its side so you can really see it and try to use those up on my Christmas layouts. That way I can use my leftover bits on non-Christmas layouts. Those are gorgeous. All right. So that's main kit. Next. Now this is tricky because there's a set of washi tape kind of floating around. So I got to figure, okay, that's Bujo. How does this work? Okay. Oh gosh. I have Bujo. I have embellishment kit, mixed media kit. Phew. All right. I'll just show you these because I don't know which kit they go to. I have the entire full gigantic set of eight washi tape. Look at those. There are a ton. So I have Ho Ho Ho, which is very Christmassy, poinsettia. This stripe right here, I can get away with just having in general stash. This has little kids rolling snowballs. I have little candy cane stripe. Look at how cute. I love this one that says Merry Christmas. It's not quite gold. I don't know if it's supposed to be bronze or not. So yeah. Oh, there's one that's four yards, so I guess that's a bronzy one. 
and seven are six yards. I have a ton of washi, but I don't know which kit that goes to. I don't. Okay. So this would be embellishment kit next. Another great big bag. I have a um, series coming up, which is going to be loosely getting ready for a crop making page kits, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I'm going to need those bags is my whole point. All right. So this is American Crafts. I'm assuming this is crepe paper. Yes, it is. And it says snowflake and there's 49 chipboard stickers. Oh my goodness. These are precious. Look at that gorgeous little deer there. Now that color is going a little bit more towards a mauve -y kind of a tone. So December, a cute little car with a Christmas tree on it. It's got this really nice, oh, that's matching really well. These foiled little star bits. This little person has little foiled earmuffs. You know, there is, yeah, all kinds of cuteness, but full 12 by 12 sheet. I'm going to sneak it down a little bit because I want you to still see the paper. I know you're getting a little glare right here. Let's see. Is there a way to fix? That's a little less glare. Okay. Then next, we have the American Crafts Good Tidings. And these are 50 puffy stickers. I'm going to hold them this way so that you can see everything on there. And I know it's kind of wonky when you do it that way, but I figure it's nice to be able to see everything we have. So together, peace, merry and bright, cozy, silent night is cute. My house is never silent, but it's a cute idea. Yeah, very, very usable, gorgeous, perfect. And then the last piece in that embellishment kit is a set by Pebbles. There's 40 pieces in it, and it says phrase ephemera. So I bet it's going to be wordy bits, wordy bits, wordy bits. So 10 pieces with foil and then 30 cardstock pieces. Kind of neat how they're separating it out and letting us know. So that's more of the 10 pieces with foil. And then there's all of the regular cardstock pieces. So very, very, very Christmas oriented. So I am going to be going rather heavy on that. All right, so let me show you next. I'll show you my mixed media kit. And there's some good goodies in here. So these are great when I'm doing um, kits, like when I'm working through a kit and I'm starting to get cut up pieces of pattern paper in that, I like to separate them out so they don't get lost in my container. All right, so first thing, so I have a set, or I guess they're stored like this, of Zazz Glitter Glue. I've never used it. I started looking up information on it just to see what people think. So I'm going to have to play with it. I don't think it does well as little tiny like dots. So I might be doing some more of a mixed media vibe with it. I'm not sure. But the colors are honeycomb, pool, and rouge. So that's fun and bright and festive. That yellow looks good with that. And the red looks good with that. So I'm going to have to play with that. The next thing I have is this Heidi Swap stamp. It's a big foam stamp and it's a Christmas tree. So that would be a fun little thing to play with. And it has, can I open it up? Because I know I'll never use this little box again. There we go. Let me toss that. And I have, yeah, see it's like this. So it's a foam one, which I usually like with acrylic paint. But I'm going to maybe see, yeah, I'm going to test it with some different things. But it has this nice handle. And from what I understand, if you collect these, you can take off the handle. So you don't have to have like 5 million handles sitting there. And then you can, okay, you get the point. You can take it off and if you have a storage issue and then not have to have it all on the handle. So I only have one. I own one. So I'm not worried about that. So got a foam stamp got the glue. Uh, this is infusions in slate blue, but slate like, you know, slay, slate blue. So I've seen Scrappy Kathy use this a lot. She got her kit way before me because they weren't mean to her. Not, not mine the scrap. Mine the scrap is the bomb, but my United States Postal Office kept mine hostage. Anyway, colored stains. Can't wait to play with it. See what's what. And I'll go from there. No idea. And then the last thing in that mixed media kit is this pink paisley together for Christmas set. Now it has acetate snowflakes in there and they are in a really pretty gold tone. I have gigantic 
sequin or they're like iridescent snowflakes in here gold sequins and beautiful stars so that is going to be gorgeous that is so pretty let's see where where can i put it oh my goodness okay then lastly is the bujo kit which is a bullet journal kit obsessed with the bags right now you know that though and let's see i'm going to start with an alpha and hold on i have an o that's trying to escape hold on this is tragic I need my vowels. I have a little O that is trying to leave the building. So, oh, and a Q that has left the building. All right, I'm not gonna touch it that much because it's trying to escape. So this is Cocoa Vanilla, Tis the Season. And it's interesting because it's orangey. Orangey and baby blue. And I have a number of things. Remember when Pink Fresh had that orange red collection? For Christmas or like you know it wasn't a collection but there's pieces that were orange red so I've got baby blue tile stickers and it's like almost an olive color print on it and then orange so I don't yeah I'm not feeling the orange for this but I'm definitely feeling these for other things so my alphas are these thickers and then I have two tones right here of bladder and bellies maybe like that Next, I have these snowflake paper clips. Now I think that this might be for the Bujo kit. It is, now that I remember. Okay, so I have these clips. Now this is what's interesting. They're by Crate Paper Snowflake, by the way. Oh, there's my cue. And what I always end up doing with them, which is probably awful, because I don't use them as like, I'm putting my cue back. I don't use them as, um, as intended. I end up taking them off their big rubber backing so that it's only as heavy as that first layer. So I cut off that rubber backing on them and I use them as rubber charms. I mean, they're beautiful like that, but they are so thick. I just, I can't use them as intended. How it is. And then lastly, I have a six by six paper pad. And now the Bujo kit always has a paper pen, which is cool with me. So let's take a good look at it because it's a Christmas paper pad. Let's see, it's by Pebble. So it is 36 papers and there's 18 designs. It's gold foiling. Now y'all know, if you watch my channel, if I don't like a piece of paper, it ends up being a paper for matting. So let's see what will happen. Oh, come on. I did cut you. I cut you. I separated it out. I was trying to look responsible and it didn't work. So let's see. I have a cute little cut apart. Those are, oh, look at the hedgehog. He is cute. Let it snow. Joy. All right. Very, very cute. It's whimsical and cute. Oh, that's a foil. I mean, these are cute, but I wish they didn't have that big old hole there. So some of this already I can see is Christmas and non-Christmas. You know, like usage. Cute little Santas. That's adorable. Perfect grid. Ho, ho, ho foil. The foil. This pattern, which I'm sure is a very common Christmas pattern, I was just using um, this past month. People doing their little snow stuff. Oh, see, with the, um, the little people on the washi tape so cute more foiling here but this is such a nice deep teal beyond adorable snowmen Ugh. we had snow once this year itty bitty words which if you wanted to they could just you know mat something or you can go crazy really really great plaid there dancing snow or reindeer that really great see that's the this bottom washi to me, that you can use that any time of year. That's so great. Poinsettias, definitely Christmas, Christmas. These are gorgeous. Oh, yeah. All of those get to get cut out, and they get to be put into banners, and they'll be perfect on one layout. Okay, y'all. Adorable Valentine paper right there. Peppermints, and then that repeats. So, hope this wasn't too long. I'm so excited to finally get my kit. Like, I think that Emma it has already sent out my January kit. 
that's how long this took. So I'm so excited. But you know what? In the end, A, I had fun like tracking like <laughs> the postal service repeatedly, you know, when you look and look and look to see if it's moved on. And B, I was kind of Christmas scrapped out and now I'm not. So in the end, this worked out really, really well because I am beyond excited about it. All right, I hope you like what I got and I'm going to get creating with it this weekend and have the best time ever. All right, bye friends.